Hey guys, this is your boy here, Sean. I'm driving my Bronco in this beautiful golf, golf course. Yeah, just joining a golfing training class. So let's talk about five tough features you don't want to miss when you're ordering a Bronco, okay? Um, the five tough features I'm going to encourage anyone get a Bronco to to make sure they had with it uh, in my other videos I've you know mentioned some of these uh, features but I think I just want to keep it simple straightforward and have them listed so my number one is gonna be the 4x4 huddle okay right here that's gonna be the number one feature uh, if you're getting it from um, out of band trim which is actually more like the premium hand of the bronco you probably are gonna get um the rear locker with it so which actually is gonna be my number two but it's tied to that one uh you want the rear locker with the bronco and that gets you the 4.27 uh j ratio with locking the fresher they all tie kind of tied together so I would encourage anyone for extra $2,000, which I think is really, really a goodie to get to get that one in the Bronco. So that way you can run 35s, you get the rear locker with it, you get a 4x4 auto, and um, you can even go 37s without having have to do a lot of work like rejuring and all that stuff, right? Uh, this is the neighborhood I live, beautiful neighborhood in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, second options would be the high package. I know the high package does not come with a lot of uh, Broncos, uh, especially from base models to uh, big band, big band, um, and as well as the mid, uh, the black diamond. Actually, the black diamond was uh, you can check my previous video to check the link be below. The black diamond is actually. Uh, my kind of favorite bronco in terms of you know budget friendliness and the features that comes with it without going all the way to the badland or the everglade that started that was, that's been launched in 2022 uh so i will say go for the eye packet so that means you have to go at least you know with a with a um harrow bank but if you compare the pricing with a black diamond you you're gonna see that uh, not a big difference uh, with the harder bank so I will encourage you to get that because not just because of this big big screen right um, you're getting a lot of other stuff with it too you're getting the, uh, the 360 camera front camera I know some vehicle if you want to get the front camera alone is about over five hundred dollars just to get a front camera uh, on a Jeep to get a front camera on the Jeep is it's like five hundred dollars, and the feature is not as great as what you get when you, um, what you get when you try to get on the Bronco. So I'm gonna hit the button right here, uh, which is gonna show me the front camera. Look at this beautiful view. Uh, this makes it easy to, if I'm in a traffic, um, it may be easy to see what is my front, right? Sometimes it ties so, up, you know, it's kind of in your front. You can see, you you can see the plane number right easily um you can check this button and you can go different views this is uh this is just gonna show you the full screen which is uh super beautiful and this one is gonna show you the hand you know like on the on the cup side the middle and the other side too so this is really a very good for function so like i said other vehicles to get only one front camera like for example on the jeep is about 500 dollars plus uh, meanwhile, on the Bronco, you get everything for just about $1,200 plus the other one on the side mirror. So that is his second two, which is, I would say, second three if you factor in the the, the rear locker and the 4x4 auto. So uh, other functions that I'm going to ask anyone to get, if you can't get the eye package, I'm going to say at least go for the mid. Uh, that way... Um, the main packet basically gives you everything like the remote start and every other thing, but you don't just get the screen and the cameras with it. Uh, you don't get the zone lighting uh, and all that stuff. So, so yeah, go for the eye package if you get in a Bronco. Uh, 
the third one, which is, I would say is like the fourth one, is the auxiliary switch. This is super, super functional. So um, over here yesterday, I've gone to install uh, these two from um, uh, floor light. So I'm gonna turn it on right here. So this is the switch, a wire to auxiliary free. You can add a lot of accessory easily with um, with the auxiliary switch. Like uh, I plan to upgrade to a steel bumper with a winch and every other thing. So there's a wiring harness over here in the front end, and I'm just gonna easily hook up my winch with with it. So yeah, the all means on the auxiliary auxiliary switch. Uh, it's really really very handy, I would say. Um, another thing I'm gonna say you should try to get with your Bronco, which is gonna be the fifth one. Um, I would recommend anyone getting the Bronco to get it with a side step. It's so easy, especially since I have it lifted. The side step comes very handy with it, and it's not very expensive, you know, when you're getting it from Ford. Uh, it looks good, it uh, looks good, and um. It started and I think it does me a great job when I'm driving uh, the mud splashing from the tires you know it takes them away so it kind of serve as extra protections to my uh, rocker panel area of the vehicle from mud and other stuff right so uh, I would recommend that you, you you get your Bronco with a side step it's if you have family especially uh, that's something you want to get with it so those are my top five features you could get with your Bronco. Uh, as I said in the beginning, the 4x4 automatic uh, is number one. Uh, the differential, the 4.27 rear locking differential is really good with the rear lock card as key. Uh, that's number two. The screen um, is number three. Make sure you get a high package with the cameras. And also to the auxiliary switch is number four. And um, in this case, on the final, the side step is number five. So if you're getting a Bronco, I will encourage you to have those features and they don't really cost crazy amount of money, like compared to uh, to the rest of the features, like this auxiliary uh, auxiliary switch, it's just 250 or then about $270. Uh, this is just about $400, I think. And, um, the high packet again I say is the is the best deal uh, you can get when you get your Bronco. So yeah, go for it and uh, have a nice um day. So I'll continue driving around on my Bronco. I put one thousand two hundred and forty three kilometers on it since I got it. So it's still baby. I'm just driving around. I'm gonna check on my friend's home here. He's building a brand new home uh, in this area. So he's in another province. So I'm just checking on the progress of his home. Uh, if you're looking to buy a new home, I'm not a realtor, but uh, if you're looking to buy a new home, go for it. Don't be discouraged. I know the price is crazy right now, but who knows? Okay, this is it. And I have a nice day.